Since I'm going to tell this anonymously, I'll just come out and say it. I'm a raging alcoholic. I live within walking distance of a convenience store that sits at the edge of town, and my trailer sits at the edge of country. Walk over two hills on a dirt road, past an old cemetery, and boom. I can buy all the booze I want. I'm single, and my place is paid for, so I got nothing but beer money. I'm questioning, though, how many of the things I see when I'm borderline unconscious are true. I've seen a few strange things while walking home with another load of canned happy. Not the least of which was something that involved an old cemetery. None of the people there are my family. I don't know if there are even any surviving family of anybody buried there. But once in a while, usually with the help of some chemical assistance, I'll lean on the low stone fence and contemplate how soon I'm going to drink myself to death. I don't BS myself. I know that I'm on the path is very unhealthy. I just don't have very many reasons to care. Dead in job, divorced, nobody to worry about pleasing except thyself. And the only thing that really pleases me anymore is drinking. So I was going through this line of thinking one evening as I was walking home with another 24 pack. I felt like the act of walking was making the booze absorb faster and I needed to hold still if I didn't want to vomit up all that hard-earned brew. The only way in and out of the cemetery is through a large wrought iron gate where there appears to be two stone cobblestone pillars, each having a small gargoyle sitting on top of them. I guess it's to ward off evil spirits and potentially wayward drunks. That particular night, I was in tears, thinking about my ex-wife, and I was pouring my heart out to the closest gargoyle. Anybody or anything that would listen to me, I guess. I was too ashamed to pray, so I settled for a piece of stone. I kid you not, I swore that I saw the tail flick. It was the freakiest thing in the world. I stared and waited for it to do it again, but it wouldn't. I forgot about whatever I was crying about in the moment and stumbled back and forth between the two sculptures to see if there were any observable differences. My vision at the time was swimming, so I didn't see anything at the time, but it stuck in my mind that I had seen movement from one of them. On another night, I had drunk myself so far into oblivion Without blacking out, I made myself a bet. If I didn't survive one more case of beer, I would blow my brains out. I found the revolver that used to be my father's, putting a single bullet. I guess I was thinking about Russian roulette at the time. I made it to the store, able to buy more beer, and walked back home. As I passed the cemetery... I took out the revolver and waved it around. And then it occurred to me, see if the gargoyle would move. I rolled the cartridge into place and pulled the trigger, waiting to spray the stone, and didn't really expect anything to happen. But just as sure as I'm telling you this story, the bullet hit the gargoyle right between the eyes, and that's when I started to see this thing begin to move before me as if its skin became different and it started to shift and come alive. Terrified, I ran for my life. That night, I tried to turn things around, throw away the gun, throw away the beer, and live my life differently. I knew I was intoxicated, or at least to a degree, but there's no amount of drunk that can make you see that. In fact, witnessing that sobered me up pretty quick and it terrified me. Now, I avoid the liquor store, and even though I'm an alcoholic, I'm trying to do my best to go cold turkey, but I know how well that ends up for people. I don't go anywhere near that cemetery now. Was it a freak act of my imagination? Possibly. Or did I truly see something beyond this realm of world?
I'm a hitchhiker. I try to be responsible. I look after myself until I absolutely must ask somebody for a ride. I've gotten through most of my life by myself this way. So why bother being hasty to bring another person on board? I was near a campground in North Carolina, walking along a narrow frontage road. I spotted what I thought was a rusty colored dog in the middle of the road, checking out some potential roadkill. I thought the dog must have just been hungry. It looked no larger than your average beagle, and the thing stood up on its hind legs and looked at me. That was right then when I could see I wasn't dealing with any kind of dog. Actually, I couldn't have told you what I was looking at. Its legs and arms were thin and wiry, but its body was different. It was like I was looking at a large bat, but the head wasn't anything like a bat. It almost kind of resembled a gremlin Halloween mask, mischievous and disproportionate. It also wasn't smiling. It appeared to glare at me with eyes that were cloudy and yellow. It swayed side to side, sizing me up as either source of food or trouble. It then lowered its head as if to hunch its vertebrae. It began to stalk away from me, not taking its eyes, moving at a perpendicular angle. I had to get a closer look, though I didn't have any idea how to get near it without scaring it. So, I began calling to it like a cat, and then it spread two fleshy tattered wings that I hadn't noticed before. They looked dried out and kind of like a bat's. It began moving at a faster clip towards the low wooden fence that marked the border of the campground. I kept trying to talk to it, thinking it was some unknown species of bat I'd never seen before. Or maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't know what the hell this was. But at the time, I wasn't exactly scared. More intrigued and curious at what I was looking at. It began to flutter and drift, moving faster than it would walking, but not fully committing to taking off in flight. I was getting desperate, although I wasn't sure why, but I wanted to get a closer look at this little thing. It stayed about 10 feet away from me, no matter how I called or sped up. It led me to a vacant clearing surrounded by trees and tall grass as it stood on the top of a dirt mound and finally turning around to face me. It showed me crooked, pointed teeth. Its cloudy eyes had a subtle glow to them that I could see even in the daylight and I was pretty sure that I also saw a small puff of smoke coming off of it, like it was heating up or something. It was bizarre. At this point, I really began to question what I was doing, that this wasn't some unknown species of bat that I should try to chase down. And just as I was thinking about that, it just vanished. Just as I was about to try and remember the brand of tequila that I had to drink the night before, I noticed a large black and bronze plaque that had been erected near the bare patch of earth I was standing on. It was an explanation of the history of the devil's tramping ground, a circle where nothing would grow, as supposedly the devil himself was said to frequent the circle and pace as he plotted against humanity. I'm leaning more towards the tequila as being the rational explanation for what I saw, but last I checked, even LSD that I've taken nearly 20 years ago didn't give me that strong of a hallucination. So, what is it? Did I really have an encounter with some sort of demon? Could this have truly been the devil's messenger? What's your take on it? I'm an avid bird watcher, and I never get tired of birds, no matter how often I see the same ones over and over. I even use high-powered binoculars wherever I go. I appreciate birds that hold still long enough for me to get a decent look at them, Buzzards and similar soaring birds are my favorite just because they glide slowly enough to be observed in flight. They have a whole different energy when they're in motion like that. I came across a funnel of vultures 
that were passing the time, writing thermals up into the sky. I was delighted, and I raised my binoculars to the sky. They were turkey vultures, hideous and majestic at the same time. But my trance was broken by a commotion at the top of the funnel. Among their black shapes was something bigger and more lightly colored. It seemed to be harassing the vulture closest to it. Its movements, although quick, were able to keep a stable view of its challenge. It looked to be every bit the size and shape of a young adult human being, but its hands and feet appeared to be anything but human. If it were covered in feathers, they were gray and white, marking its tiny black eyes, standing out starkly as two little pinpricks of darkness. Strangest yet was its mouth, a round circle, making its face look like a feathered gas mask. Its wings resembled an eagle's, and its feet had terribly long scythe-like talons. The vultures seemed unsure how to deal with this intruder. The thing managed to bag one of them, and it flew off with its writhing and squawking catch. Once it was out of my sight, I began digging up anything and everything I could find about cryptids, and nothing remotely matches what I saw. It wasn't the Mothman, Thunderbird, Jersey Devil, anything. It was a beady, black-eyed, circle-mouthed nightmare. Please, help me identify this strange, bizarre creature. And if you could, maybe you could read this to your listeners, so maybe I could have some help identifying what exactly I saw. Thank you for your time.